Yeah. What's good, everybody? Hope y'all are having a super blessed day and welcome back to Sharp Sports. First and foremost, I just got to say thank you guys for understanding. I needed to kind of take these past couple days just to with everything that was going on in the world. I just needed to take some time to just clear my head, just get my mental in check. But we good now. We ready to come back and hit this YouTube grind even harder than before. And we were dropping videos daily, so that we were saying something. And what better video to come back to than YouTube's favorite football series, Five Star vs. One Star, the series where we take a look at a five star prospect and compare them to a one star prospect. So I'm gonna need y'all to hype this video up, get this video to a thousand likes, and we'll be dropping another five star vs. One Star video on Friday. Also, be sure to let me know his position you guys wanna see me cover. So jumping straight into it, today's five star quarterback is the best player in DC, the best dual threat quarterback in the country, and the fourth best recruit in the class of 2021, coming out of Gonzaga High School, Caleb Williams. Caleb is 6'2", 209 pounds, runs a 4.57 second 40, and his high school, Gonzaga High School, finished up as the seventh best team in DC and the 146th best team nationally. And today's one star quarterback, who technically is a two star quarterback, but he was the lowest ranked quarterback I could find, so we just gotta make work, is the 25th best player in Missouri and the 51st best dual threat quarterback in the class of 2021, coming out of Raymore Peculiar High School, Conrad Holly. Conrad is a 6'6", 205 pound dual threat quarterback who runs a 5.07 second 40, and his high school finished off as the seventh best team in Missouri and the 288th best team nationally. Now real quick before we jump into the highlights, I wanna remind y'all we are on the road to 200K guys. We are so close to hitting 200K. So guys, if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications because we are dropping videos all the time. All right, but let's take a look and see what the real difference is between a five-star quarterback and a one-star quarterback. Three, two, one. Psh. All right, so to start this video off, let's first take a look at five-star quarterback Caleb Williams. To me, this dude, I don't know if you've seen my solo video that I did on his highlight tape. He is easily a top three quarterback that I've covered on my channel. He might be the best quarterback I've ever covered, period. His speed, he's in the, he's in the high four fives, which hey, for a high school dual threat quarterback, I'm taking that all day. But when you see the cannon that this kid has, I mean, obviously you just saw him just absolutely just slice and dice the entire defense. But when you see the bombs that he drops in this tape, I'm letting you guys know, he just, just let me look at this. Just, yeah, just let it fly, son. Let it fly, let's go. It, like, bro, I, I, I've, seen, I've already seen this highlight tape, but this throw is, is nuts. This throw is insane. Look at how he just pop, just flicks his wrist and lets that ball fly. This other, this next view is this, this side view. Look at how, first off, look at how quick he gets this ball out of his hands. Again, huddle, please add a frame by frame feature. The fact that he's able to just seize the pressure in his face, boom, just instantly gets it out accurate. And those, those, out, those out routes are some of the hardest throws to make because the receiver's running away from you and you need to put power on the ball because if you don't put enough mustard on it, the corner can undercut that. Like, Caleb Williams is, and then, and then he gives you this, and then he gives you this, not just elusiveness, being able to pull away from defenders. Like, I'm telling you, they, he, they haven't predicted going to Oklahoma. He's going to be committing here pretty soon. He, he's one of the best quarterbacks I've ever seen. To me, he, he's a stronger armed Justin, Justin Fields, which is crazy when you think about it. Like, and he, and like, because he's, he has such a strong arm, it's not just like a laser. Like, he could really put some air up underneath the ball. So, look at your ankles, little boy. He wasn't ready. He said, ah, ah, just, he kind of just stuck him in the ground, bro. Don't even try me. Get off of me. Let's go. But he could really put air up underneath the ball so he could really drop it in the basket. Bro, that, that move was just disgusting. With that, ah, bro, he is literally just taking echoes left, right, and center out here. Roll out, rolling away from his throwing arm, and let it fly. Just absolute rifle. Again, see, I love high schools that have the good camera quality, you know, the end zone view. I mean, just squares up, 
and it delivers a rocket. And look at the ball placement. It's not it's not about like this throw itself running away running away from your throwing arm, then having to square up and, and make a, a throw like this. It's already hard enough. Only his receivers making that play. I mean, these guys weren't anywhere near this. This is a college NFL level throw. You you make the, you put the ball right here at, at, at the D1 level. No no corners being able to touch that. Like that is a beautiful throw. Like for especially especially for these top end high school quarterback prospects, it's not always about just making the throw. It's where like where did they make the throw like did did they just get the ball to the receiver or did they put the ball exactly where the receiver needed to be like for example that play is just getting the ball to the receiver if, if like say at the next level if the, the defender was closer that would be an incompletion but that and that, that's just because obviously it's impressive because he's got he's got people just draped all over him making that throw but here again just leading again like you see him climbing up into the pocket, stepping up, boom, leaving this ball to the inside so that it potentially his receiver could have spun off of that and, and still made a play. Like, I'm telling you, Caleb Williams is the truth when it comes to being a five-star quarterback. All right, now let's compare him to his one-star counterpart, Conrad Hawley. So they haven't ranked as a, well, it says here he's a pro-star quarterback, but on his 24-7 sports page, it says he's a dual threat, but it also said he ran four, five, or four, like, four, nine, one in the 40, so. That sounds to me like more like a pro style quarterback, but hey, we'll we'll see what he's looking like out here. Way to let that go. Okay, wait, hold up. Where did he throw this from? So he threw that basically. I can't really tell exactly where he threw that from. But he was on the other side. That was like a 50 yard throw. Okay. Okay, threw that from the 30 to the. Okay, he, okay, he's got a cannon. He's dropping the ball out here. Let's go. One quick tip. This, having the ball get that low in your throwing motion, you really want to clean that up just so that you're getting a, a much quicker release. But I mean, yo, he's he's got some arm talent. He could really let that ball fly. Again, he, nice strong arm, so he's not just having to rifle the ball downfield. He could really put some air up underneath it and let his receivers run up under the ball. So yeah, that that's something that he's really gonna have to he's really gonna have to get out of his throwing motion. That's like almost like how Tim Tebow like would drop the ball like super low and then come back into his throwing motion. Like he has something not obviously as bad as Tim Tebow's was, but he has something similar to where the ball drops down first and then it goes around. If he can clean that up, his throwing motion would be so much quicker. Okay, I see, I see you with the sidearm throw. This is talk about throwing this into a window. That, that, that was tight, especially with the end zone view. That's that's money right there. Cause I mean he okay, so like on, on a play like this, like he this is this is more of what I would be looking for. No, it, it, I, like he still he still drops that ball down. If he can if he can just go straight instead of going down, but just come just back, bro, man, he because he already has a pretty quick release with that arm talent, and he's tall too. He's six what did it say six five two twenty basically. Like, hey, that's looking at Justin Herbert. Obviously not as athletic as Justin Herbert, but probably a little bit better arm talent. At least in, at least from high school. We'll talk about throwing with anticipation. This, bruh, this this should have been his first throw. I'm sorry. This is such. He throws this two like two steps before the receiver even breaks down. Talk about throwing to a spot. That's that is amazing right there. Um, yo, that that throw was you because I, I've covered a lot of quarterback highlights on this channel. Again, we leave that ball to the outside. I've covered a lot of quarterback highlights on that channel. I think that was the most anticipated throw I've ever seen. He threw that so early. The core that no corner can beat that when the ball is already out. Of, bro, come on. That, that that is how you beat any type of defensive coverage. Again, doing a really good job of, on, on these fade routes to leave the ball to the outside. Oh. 
Throwing it back, a little bit back shoulder. I, I see you out here. Yeah, so, so far, uh, okay, I, I like his anticipation. Decent footwork. The biggest thing is, it, like, he just needs to just clean that, that like, looping motion in, in his throat. Nice catch, receiver. Okay. That looping motion. Like, if he can clean that up and just go straight back and then over the top, he that would clean up his throwing motion, get it way quicker. And with his size and arm talent, I mean, to me, I mean, to me, he, well, he was ranked as a two-star. To me, he looks more like a three-star quarterback. Especially for how, especially for the, the as good of a high school that he plays for, but I would say if he cleans up that throwing motion in his senior year, which I don't know how many games they're going to be playing in their senior year for this year, but I wouldn't be surprised if, if he's if he's uh, one of these guys that rises a lot in his senior year. Let it fly. Get off of me. Okay, there's a little bit of a dual threat. Okay. So, I mean, hey, he's not the fastest guy out there, but if the defense forgets to account for him and he just finds find some space, he's lanky, so he's going he's to cover a lot of ground just with his strides. Let's go. Wait, okay. So that is the difference between a five-star quarterback and a one-star quarterback in high school. To me, the biggest differences between the two, clearly they're both very physically gifted as far as their frame, but Caleb, obviously he's way faster. And to me, I still think arm, arm strength wise, he's got, he's got Conrad beat by like easily 10, 15 yards on his longest throw. But Caleb, his throwing motion is a lot cleaner, a lot quicker. Just It's just more polished overall. Obviously, he's got the mobility, and he plays. He plays in equally as cut. Actually, no, he plays in. Even even though his team is ranked like in the mid 140s, the, he'd be playing top 50 teams every single week because he plays in the DMV, which he, he plays in the best district or whatever it is. So he's going up against like some crazy good competition. So clearly, when he, he's putting up those numbers, going up against that level of high school competition, it, it's letting you know that the kid's talented. And then he also just has it. It's just that Patrick Mahomes type thing, the Russell Wilson, where he just he just makes some throws where you're just like, hey, he he's got it. Now Conrad, obviously, if he can clean up that throwing motion and just get that laser quick, get his footwork a little bit more up underneath him, just fill out a little bit more, probably get up to like 225, 230, especially at 6'6. Six, six. You could really put some you could put some weight on a 6'6 six, six frame and not be slow or anything like that. So hey, just put get some more get some more size on his frame and clean up that throwing motion you like that that loop has to get out of there because first off anytime that the ball goes underneath your waist like that if, if a dn just barely taps your wrist that ball's coming out whereas if it's up here you have a, just a better grip on the ball but at, if he can clean that up I already, I already like some of his throws. He, he show, he shows that he could throw with anticipation. Now I don't know if his offense was like, if they really had a lot of routes that you had to anticipate, but it, it, he shows he could throw it to a spot and throw it accurately. And if you can keep on doing that, I mean, hey, he, I, I, I can see Conrad putting in some work in his senior year. But what were the differences you guys saw between the five-star quarterback Caleb Williams and the one-star quarterback Conrad Holly? Be sure to comment it down below. All right, with that being said, hope that y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave this video a like. Let's get this video to a thousand likes because that lets me know that you guys want to see another five-star versus one-star video. Also, don't forget to comment down below which position you guys want to see me cover next in the five-star versus one-star series. And also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We are on the road to 200K. So guys, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and turn your notifications so you never miss any of the videos that we are dropping all the time. All right, with all that being said, hope that y'all have a super blessed rest of your day. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Ciao.